It's 10 trivia questions on gray characters. Name these characters who are mostly gray or dress in gray. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show. Thanks for hitting subscribe so you never miss a new episode. And thanks for leaving iTunes reviews so more eyes and ears get on the program. Up to 348 reviews. Let's hit 350 by this weekend. Be the next two people to leave a review. Send me an email ryanbuds at gmail.com and i will send you free stuff in the mail i'm talking magnets i'm talking stickers i'm talking signed sharknado headshots all the goods from my office to your office it's gonna get sent and it's gonna get sent to you for being so very cool we have gray characters on today's episode i'll describe a character you have to name who that character is and i do want to shout out if you're a fan of star wars characters that this whole week in southern california in eastern Tennessee, and even online. I'll be doing tons of Star Wars trivia to celebrate May the 4th Be With You, which is this Wednesday, May 4th, 2022. So if you live near me in East Tennessee, go to my website, TriviaWithBuds.com, see all the events going on. We'll be at uh, the McKinney Center on Wednesday night in Jonesboro, Tennessee, doing some ticketed Star Wars trivia for amazing prizes. We'll be on uh, in Bristol, Virginia on Thursday night doing three rounds of Star Wars trivia. It's going to be a ton of fun, and I would love to see you at a show. And if you come up to me and say, hey, I heard about the show because I listened to the podcast, that's always huge hugs and extra high fives. So uh, let me know, let me know, let me know. Your Geek Out Challenge is for today. Name four documentaries. Name two TV shows that feature children in elementary school. Name four book titles in which a character is a doctor. Name six performers whose names begin with the letter A in the world of music. And name two projects in which Kathy Bates has starred for Miscellaneous. Those are your warm-up challenges, and now we're on to 11 questions about gray characters. Let's see if you can guess them all. Here we go. <laughs> It's gray character trivia. Number one. Here's the first character. Timothy Q. Mouse plays this Disney character's mentor and best friend. Number one. Timothy Q. Mouse plays this Disney character's mentor and best friend. Number two. Director Paul Verhoeven made this first hit movie set in Detroit with a justice dealing cyborg. Number two, justice dealing cyborg in Detroit. Number three, with a niece named Penny and a dog named Brain doing all the heavy lifting, this dimwit got the show's title. Number four, singer of a Disney song called The Bare Necessities. Singer of a Disney song called The Bare Necessities. Number five, this four-letter Pokemon name also spells a shade of gray if you change the I to a Y. This four-letter Pokemon name also spells a shade of gray if you change the I to a Y. Number six, the notoriously drunkest robot on Futurama. The notoriously drunkest robot on Futurama. Number seven, a Jean de Brunoff character starting in 1931. A Jean de Brunoff character starting in 1931. Number eight, an all CGI character in 2016's Deadpool. Number eight, an all CGI character in 2016's Deadpool. Number nine, 
Number nine, the alien character on American Dad. The alien character on American Dad. Number 10, Garfield's nemesis on Garfield and Friends. Garfield's nemesis on Garfield and Friends. Your two-point bonus question for gray characters. What is the official name of the gray Mario villains who slam down on players vertically or horizontally? What's the official name of the gray Mario villains who slam down on players vertically or horizontally? Those are all of your questions for gray characters. We'll be back to see if you got them all right after this. We are back with the answers to gray characters. Name these characters who are mostly gray or dress in gray. Let's see how you did. Number one, Timothy Q. Mouse plays this Disney character's mentor and best friend. That would be Dumbo. Number one, you don't want to feel like a Dumbo on this round. I hope you got a bunch of them right. Dumbo. Number two, director Paul Verhoeven made his first hit movie set in Detroit with a justice-dealing cyborg named RoboCop. RoboCop. Number three, with a niece named Penny and a dog named Brain doing all the heavy lifting, this dimwit got the show's title, Inspector Gadget. Do, 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 do. Number three, I hated this show because he was so dumb. Uh, it really bothered me as a kid. I'm like, why? I don't understand. Why can't he do these things? Why does the girl and the dog do everything? It like it was so much so that I I was detracted from the show. I kind of hated it because of how silly he was. Number four, singer of a Disney song called The Bare Necessities, Blue in the Jungle Book. Number five, this four-letter Pokemon name also spells a shade of gray. If you change the I to a Y, Onyx, O-N-I-X, O-N-I-X. Number six, the notoriously drunkenest robot on Futurama is Bender, Bender. Number seven, a Jean de Brunoff character starting in 1931, Babar the Elephant, the King Elephant, Babar. Number eight, an all-CGI character in 2016's Deadpool, Colossus. Number nine, the alien character on American Dad is Roger. And number 10, Garfield's nemesis. On Garfield and Friends is Nermal. And the bonus for two points, what's the official name of the gray Mario villains who slam down on players vertically or horizontally? They're called Thwomps. T-H-W-O-M-P-S. Thwomps. And there you have it. That is your quiz on gray characters. I have a fact of the day for you, and that fact is that since founding the Imagination Library in 1995, Dolly Parton has donated 100 million books to children. And I can attest to that. My son, Tommy, until he turns five in the state of Tennessee, gets a free book every single month from the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. It's very cool. He gets excited about it. We also get Highlights Magazine. He gets excited about that. So it's just a cool thing to get in the mail. And it's all free for your kids up to age five in Tennessee. And worldwide, you can get those books. So go look it up. Sign it up. Sign your kids up at the Imagination Library website. I imagine it's imaginationlibrary.com. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And don't forget the book of pop culture puzzles is on my Etsy page. You can click the link in the show notes very easily or go to Etsy.com slash shop slash trivia with buds and get some shirts, get some sweatshirts, get some uh, fun stuff on the Etsy page, including the digital download of pop culture puzzles, volume one. We'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Cheers.